Hello, this is saxophonist Antonio Parker, and this is a conversation in jazz, where we're promoting jazz through telling the stories. In this special edition of the Conversation in Jazz, I have the distinct honor and pleasure of interviewing four members of the legendary jazz, R&B, soul, and funk group, The Blackbirds. We are celebrating the 50th anniversary world tour launch, which begins on July 7th, 2023 at the famous Howard Theater in Washington, D.C. We ask you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so we can let you know when we are posting another video or going live. We also ask you to donate to our Cash App in order to support the channel and help us to produce future videos. Our Cash App is dollar sign Jazzology 101. That's dollar sign Jazzology 101. Enjoy the video. Hi, I'm saxophonist Antonio Parker, and this is A Conversation in Jazz. In this special edition of A Conversation in Jazz, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary world tour launch and homecoming of the legendary jazz, R&B, soul, and funk group, The Blackbirds. Today, we have four members of the group joining us to talk about the 50th anniversary tour and sharing some of their personal history performing with the group. Please welcome DC's own and Howard University's own, the legendary Blackbirds. Yay! What's up, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Scared. <laughs> welcome to a conversation, hey, Jay. Well, well, thank you. Thank you. This is the first time I'm interviewing four cats. Oh, okay. so it's it's going cool. cool. to be what it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't scared. Um, so before we get start, mm -hmm. started, um, I think it's important for our audience to know that I'm also... A part of yes, the Blackbirds, baby, uh, yes, what yes, you're saying. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> we, we got a few stories that we're going to keep secret. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> it's in the book. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to talk about Scotland. That's yeah, fine. that's good. Right. <laughs> so here you go, Joe. Here you go. Hit, hit. Oh, Haggis. We're going to talk about Haggis. 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 And, oh. and leprechauns. We know. Here you go. Yeah. We know. Yeah. 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 Don't bring, up, don't bring up the leopard cars. And sneakers. Right, and sneakers. Right. Right. Adidas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. I know. This is fun. You should have worn that piece. This is beautiful. It yeah. is beautiful. So let's start with introductions, all right? Okay. So we're going to go around and uh, just tell about who you are, where instrument you play, and your experiences with the Blackbirds. We're going to start with Mr. Thad Wilson. I'm Thad Wilson. Everybody probably knows me at this point from some other conversations in jazz. Um, trumpeter, I've been performing with the Blackbirds, I think now, a good 15 years. Mm -hmm. I think it's been about wow. that long. Mm -hmm. And... Um, 2012. Yeah, yeah, and I remember when I first kind of got with the band, it was all so new and so fresh until I was a little overwhelmed. So I just remember the first couple of gigs having no idea what to do <laughs> or what to play. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and, you know, because I, you know, as I got further into the band, I realized how deep the book was. And I think that's one of the sort of big sort of jolting things when you kind of join this band is you realize there's a large discography, it's a large body of work mm -hmm. that if you want to be a part of the band, you need to kind of really dig in and absorb and take in and this, that, and the other. So that was kind of my, that was the one thing that stuck out with me in terms of my responsibility to the mm -hmm. band. And then, you know, you know, I, I, I would always kind of get mad at Keith because <laughs> I was Fonz Mazel, I was Donald Byrd, <laughs> I was Sad Wilson. <laughs> Because there's a lot of layers to the yeah, tunes yeah, and, and yeah. the way the tunes kind of get laid out. And mm -hmm. so I'm like, wait, oh, man, you had three different trumpet players playing all these parts, yeah. and I got to do all of them now. Uh -huh. But I love the challenge. I love the fact that it's it's all a part of what we try to do yeah. to make the music. And, and um, I'm super, super grateful. He's like my Art Blakey. I always oh, call man, him I, like my Art my, Blakey. I, he's been my, I've no, said that. I can use that too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can't have it to yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just saw, I'd had deep respect for just the music and how he ran the band and how, how the whole concept 
comes together, you know, when yeah. we hit, and it's a, it's real special for me. Yeah. It really is, yep. Yeah. yeah. Brother, Marshall Keys. First thing I got to say is that Thad Wilson is a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, with, yes, all, with, all, with all love and respect, yeah. Yeah. it's a well-known fact. That's yeah. right. yeah. when, when I when I first uh, met the Blackbirds, I was like I think a year behind these guys in, in college, okay, yeah. and uh, so they were like, "Oh, you, have you seen the Blackbirds?" And then, then you couldn't see them anymore because wow. they, were, running. they were off Go and running. You know, <laughs> first, first they were there, and then they weren't, mm -hmm. and it was it was a pretty extraordinary thing back in those days that to be friends with people who were just, you know, really, really banging out hits after hits after hits. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they called me for the first time, I think, in the, sometimes in the 80s. And we did some touring together. And then I would, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be incarcerated, you know, so then I'd, then I'd come back out, you know. Then, <laughs> then, then, I'm, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Clean that up right now. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that is true. <laughs> you can edit that out. <laughs> right. 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 But we keep it in. Yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. that. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so I was in 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 different phases with with this band, you know, mm -hmm. and and every time I would join, the the focus would be a little bit different because a lot of the body work that Thad was talking about was introduced, you know, like after I got in the band, you wow. know, right? They they have, they have at least at least two records that were done, you know, mm -hmm. after I got fired the first time. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> fired. <laughs> I don't know why why I left. You know, first I was with a band, then I wasn't. I was with a band again, and then and then they every once in a while they find a. You know, an actual saxophone flavor. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're back. Yeah. Right. 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 So, so I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. Yes. And I'm glad I'm doing what I'm doing. It's all good, man. It's, it's all beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. all beautiful. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Mr. Joe Hall. Joe Hall, yeah. I'm Joe Hall. I play the bass. And uh, I get it started actually when, uh, well, of course, when we. Went back when I went back to Howard. I went to University of Maryland first. That was nuts. I said, "What am I doing in a microbiology major? Get the f <laughs> <laughs> so I left that and went to Howard. And Orville was already there. Kevin was already there. And uh, Bird started taking students out. You know. Mm -hmm. And so I was like number th two or three that went out. Mm -hmm. And we were, we were playing jazz clubs all over. You know, East Coast, mm -hmm. at least as far as Detroit. And uh, and we were playing, uh, who was it? Uh, it was, okay, it was Barney, myself. Ray Amando. Ray Amando, <laughs> Bird, uh, Kevin, and who was the drummer? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Joe Chambers. Joe Chambers. <laughs> Joe Chambers. <laughs> Joe, of course, you know, he was, he's, he's a bad cat. You know, he was intimidating. But uh, I was, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was determined not to be intimidated. But uh, so, you know, it, it, it worked out pretty good. And then uh, Joe left the band or was, you know, he, maybe he got arrested. I don't know. But he got, <laughs> he left. And, uh, and so we were down in practice rooms, you know, you know, mm -hmm. all hours of the night and stuff as usual. And uh, I just happened to think, I said, you, I asked Kevin, you think there's a possibility? <laughs> you think there's a miracle possibility that Kilgo would come back down here? He said, well, I got a number. So, damn, cool. So he came back to D.C. from uh, Chicago. Yeah. Really? What was the name of the school, Peoria? Bradley University. Bradley University. Oh, Bradley, okay. Yeah. Now, there's some backstory. Yeah. Because, like, you oh, and yeah. Orville went to a, this high school, and then you went to... You was the yeah, yeah, I went to the best one. No, I don't. See, <laughs> okay. I don't even. Let it right there. Let it right there. You don't even. It was our high school was walking distance, so we were kind of okay. like locked in. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so uh, we started. Uh, actually, the three of us started together in a high school. Was a high school talent yeah, show. Yeah, it was a talent show. Talent show and. Uh, well, when I was looking for a drummer that could play a press role for the beginning of, what was that, the slide of Kevin's song? Bonk, 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 Get ready. Nobody could play that. Wow. And luckily, Orville had a theory teacher that knew Keith's father. Mm -hmm. Wow. And 
So she recommended Keith, and he came over to the house, and within 10 <laughs> seconds, we said, oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Rest is history. The rest is history. Right. Sex right. machine. Yeah, right. that's, right. Right. Well, that's it. Okay. Yes. Right. 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 And of course, we won the talent show because he showed up. Uh -huh. And uh, I wish I had now we got the, the the thing, but, but I don't know. I don't know who's got the award. I don't, know. I don't, know. <laughs> don't look at me. I ain't got it. <laughs> Somebody got it. Right, right. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay. And okay. from there, we uh, what was the band we had? Second stage. Second stage. And we started playing as a trio, you know, around town and doing some crazy stuff. I can't imagine. Um, St. <laughs> Margaret's. St. Margaret's. Yeah, a lot of St. Margaret's, and. Uh, and after a while, after we went to, everybody split up, went to different colleges. Yeah. And then came the the call to get him back and all the Blackbird stuff that happened after that. Yeah, so, wow. So the rest wow. is history. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Keith Kilgo. Oglet Kligo. <laughs> that was on my plane ticket. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, it's like my whole name spelled backwards. <laughs> no, but the cool part, uh, the Left Bank Jazz Society <laughs> in Baltimore, um, was really like vibrant with the jazz world, and mm -hmm. we. I was playing with my dad, Steve Novosel, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Mike Fogarty, saxophone player, and Aretha Franklin was playing piano trio. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, I don't remember who else was in the band, but Bird was playing on the same gig, mm -hmm. and it was uh, Bird, Reuben Brown, Keita Betts. Like all the cats. Mm -hmm. So I, I go up to him and say, Hey man, I'm Keith Kilgo. He says, Okay, when you coming to Howard? I said, Okay, tonight. <laughs> you know, and and I didn't know that he and my father had this relationship. Bird, my dad knew him. And so I, I I was in Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois. Oh God, bless you. And mm -hmm. that's kind of I'd met Kevin before I went to to, right. to him. Kevin you know, came and stayed stayed at the house and stuff. And um, he said, "Man, Bird said, you know, just do this." And Joe Chambers, because my father was in JFK Quintet, so Piano Walter player. Brooker. Right. Ray Cardridge and Andrew White, right. you know, the, Mickey, that whole Mickey thing. Mickey so Mickey, yeah. that equipment stayed in my basement, you know, for whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'd go down there, man. And <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Newman, mm -hmm. you know, Billy Hart, all those cats, you know. So uh, it, 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 it's amazing how this has evolved. Mm. You know what I'm saying? God, I can't even believe 50 years. Wow. wow. Somebody's yeah, lying. <laughs> it ain't no Yes, I mean that it's evolved. That all these wonderful musicians have been part of this, like you cast. Mm -hmm. You know, just so many cats have been infused in this whole thing. So Bird was like, "Okay, look, we getting rid of these old." <laughs> okay, they out. Uh, David, David Williams, who played with right. Cedar Walton yeah, for yeah, many years, yeah. played on yeah, until Joe came in. Then we oh, kind of raced his stuff. Sorry, David. And, <laughs> Not all of it. Well, yeah, no, he played Boat Goon Goon Game. Yeah. Yeah. Lifestyle so, yeah. and, and Regiment. <coughs> right. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but Bird's connection with the jazz world, because his whole thing was like, man. The, the, the critics were like after him. Oh yeah, they hated. It. They hated it because he was trying to make the make it something that wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he was not trying to do that. Like, yeah, in yeah. that sure, sure. In that band, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was yeah. like, okay, man, I'm you know, if they ain't dancing, something wrong. Something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and right. so even before Miles or you know or Herbie. You know, because he, Herbie's one of his students as well. Mm -hmm. right. uh, if they ain't dancing, and if you go back to the 30s, right, mm -hmm. what did they do? They dance. Mm -hmm. Ballroom. Yeah. Big, big time. They, they, <clears throat> they was getting it done. So Bird was like, okay, man, look. We're going to get rid of the beboppers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to put some <laughs> stool. <laughs> 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 you know. And that, that's the dynamic that the Blackbirds had. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, we, we, we didn't know what we were doing. We had no idea what we were doing. But 
we knew that we were connected to our generation. Just like Go-Go and just like any other music. Right, right. You know, they are connected to their roots. And, and so people want to connect. Yeah. You know, that's what that's right. what they want to do. And Bird knew that this was how he could connect, right. being 20 years older than we were, right. you know, playing with Boo Hand. And this is the 70s. 70s. Yeah. He knew. Right. You know, early 70s. Yeah, early 70s. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so we, we went out to California in 72. Yeah. Right. So, you know, I'd never been on, you know, I'd only gone on an airplane to go to college. And then, you know, we flew to California. Mm -hmm. We sitting in fantasy in Berkeley, California. I'm like, oh, Lord. But, <laughs> woo! I thought it ain't going to happen. You know, what, what we doing up right, in this right, joint? Right, right. Uh, and so, yeah. And, and But conceptually, it, 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 it made an impact. There's a lot of people w that we don't really, we haven't talked to or don't connect with. Have always said, look, man, uh, wow, the Blackbirds saved me. The Blackbirds, man, wow. you know, I had children. Yeah, right, all, right, right. You know, you know <laughs> th that, you know, from, and we had, uh, so us, <laughs> we had no idea, right. you know, and Alan, Alan's father, mm -hmm. I mean, Alan's, Alan Barnes. Alan Barnes, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah my, my baby. Um, his uncle, rather, Robert Barnes, right. Was like you know he was slapping bird around when they went to high school. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. right yeah. type thing. But he was uh, he worked <laughs> he worked for Selma Saxophone, mm -hmm. and they you know how they, they was polishing the the horn mm -hmm. and it sucked it up into the gun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> right. So end of that end of his job, right? Right. Right. his career was over. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but Robert, but 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 his <laughs> his uncle was the reason I got my first song on the mm -hmm. record. Mm -hmm. wow. We would stay at each other's house. Kevin, Tony, stay at his house, stay at Alan's house, man, mm -hmm. cook, and the mamas, and we'd go out. We'd go out in the car, <laughs> right in the snow, because Detroit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we, and, 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 and yeah. this, the, 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 what it was, a, a, a Plymouth something. Yeah, yeah. That thing was as big as this room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, we'd, we'd drive, and we'd jump out of the car and, like, push people out the snow. And, wow. and we just, it just was a whole lifestyle. Right, right, right. You know, right, right. I was so looking beautiful. at a, uh, a uh, video, mm -hmm. of some of that at least y'all did the, uh, on Howard's campus. Yes, oh, and yeah. some of them early, and man, y'all captured the spirit of the seventies. Of as y'all had afros. Yes, you know, I mean, it was just a look. Waste about this the, big, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. And the black community, she like it was just a community back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the, the girls on Howard's. Really, you know, I mean, y'all look like kind of remind me, you know, the the Kai, the Kai kids, the fat album. Right, 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 right. <laughs> they had the hats on, them. Right. and they had that right, whole right. that whole look, man. It right. was, and it yeah. it captures that like spirit, you know, and it looked like it was a lot of fun. I know y'all had a lot of fun. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was definitely fun involved. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So what is it like, uh, you know, to be playing with the same? Cat for fifty years. One thing I noticed when I when I got a chance to uh, yeah. work with the band, man, it was like how tight Keith Orville and Joe were. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're gonna talk about Orville. We can't leave. Yeah, yeah, That's no, my man. No, we got to give Orville some right, love. Right, oh yeah, right, absolutely. absolutely. But man, it was like that to me is the from from my experience is the Mount Rushmore of it. Right, right. From mm -hmm. when I was right. there, yeah, of, yeah. Of, yeah. you know, yeah. I felt. But y'all was so like. It was scary for me because it was it was so locked. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, well, it's funny you say that because I just want to chime in on this. So one of the first gigs I did, I just remember we get ready to go on stage, and we had already discussed the song order and la 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 and what happens here and the roadmap and this that and the other, and I didn't know it at first. So I hear Kill go say. Hey, such and such goes like this, and then Orville the chimed and said, "No, it goes like this." And then so, so it goes like this, and I didn't realize they were messing with me. <laughs> they were like, "You sure you know how this song goes?" And I'm like, "Oh, I thought it was it." So now I'm asking questions. It's time to go on. Let's do it, the Blackbird. <laughs> like that. But see, I started with Keith, oh, man, at Cross, his band called, what's that, Cross Crosswinds? Oh, yeah. and, and, and we used to play, you remember, uh, right. we used to play at the Coma Station right. <laughs> every weekend, man. That was a great right. band. Yeah. But, yeah. so, awesome. and Keith was, awesome. it, you either sink or swim. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. That is his motto, isn't it? <laughs> I can't help you. I hired you, but I can't help you. <laughs> it's so up to Keith, you tonight. Right. Keith would have you out there soloing. 
And then he'll get up off, off the drum set and go to the bar and have a drink while you still so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. but you know, when I played with the Blackbirds, it was totally different. Yeah. It was a whole, I was like, More I'm money. thinking, oh, okay. <laughs> I, you know, that right. was a whole nother experience playing <laughs> when I got to play with the Blackbirds because y'all was yeah. so tight and that energy was like locked, mm -hmm. you know. Well, Joe and Orville and myself, we've been playing since the 10th grade, 11th grade in high school. Um, it's like he starts something, Orville starts something, and we're like, okay. Because we just, there's that yeah. Are you floating? Thing. Yeah. Are you thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. What yeah. you call it? I don't know scientifically what you call it. Yeah. Uh, He's a sign of Insanity. Life. Yeah, okay, insanity. <laughs> like, we would play like Blackbird from uh, the Beatles. Right? Mm -hmm. It's one of Orville's uh, favorite tunes. And Every rehearsal we heard that. E exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Every and, but you couldn't play it right. because you couldn't figure out where to, to go, to how to fit in. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, we had just created. Was that something y'all created just out of? It just, it was, I don't know, man. It was, you know, it's just from playing together so long. Yeah. And, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, we I can't, re I was telling Joe today, I mean, I can't imagine how many records and songs. We still got thousands of songs that we've <laughs> right. never, rec that we've never really f officially recorded in his basement. Mm. Wow. And we were all on eight track, not eight track. Eight track. Well, the eight track real, yeah, real, real, thing, real, thing. real got you. What was the and, thing uh, with the, the the Yamaha? What was it? Well, not the, the ADAC. That was a T act. T act. Yeah. T act eight track. Yeah. So, uh, but we rehearsed in Orville's basement. We rehearsed rehearsed in his basement, in my basement. And our parents were like, "Look, man, as long as they ain't downstairs, look, I'm good. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't out the street getting in trouble. Yeah. So, hey, right, 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 right. So it it, it, it it speaks to more than just that." Uh, family support, mm -hmm. like Marshall's father, you know, right. you know, and his family, you know, and your family, you know, right, right. they they supported mm -hmm. what we did. Mm -hmm. That's right. why we're doing what we're doing right now. Right, right, sure. Wow. Let's talk about Orville, man. Yeah. We got to give brother Orville <laughs> son this a look. Joe, y'all seem to be the tightest. Y'all, y'all seem like y'all developed a kind of mm -hmm. a kind of brotherhood, you know, that was really a, a bond that was really close. Mm -hmm. So talk about how y'all would make we created that connection for y'all. It's wild, because the first time I saw him, we were standing outside the homeroom in eighth grade. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and Orville was, you know, he was dressed up. Uh -huh. First day of school, right? Because mm -hmm. his old man, his father was a military guy. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you know, they had certain rules about how you dress when you yeah, go to school. Because yeah. uh -huh. he had been to military schools and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So he was standing outside, you know, his big old glasses, and, and I was... I said, hey, man, how you doing? He said, uh, you know, it's cool. First day of school. You know, we were looking around trying to figure out who we were and stuff. <laughs> and uh, we later later that day, I discovered that he played guitar. Mm -hmm. I said, cool. I play a little bass. Maybe we can, you know, get together sometime. <laughs> and from the eighth grade, pretty much that's when we started playing together. Okay. Wow. And, you know, we had to... <laughs> So that's like what was the name of that crazy band? It was called, I don't know. I know you can't put this on it, but we had a tune called, uh, we just blank out the band. It was called Fairy Shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we, it's a basement band of junior high school guys. Uh, you can imagine what that sounded like. Right, right. And, uh, and so, but we, you know, I was, I was crazy about sound and stuff, so I was recording everything even back then. And uh, so we just, when we got to high school, we started, you know, more and more playing little crazy stuff. And then we met, because we met Keith, and things got better. Uh -huh. You know, we got a little mm -hmm. more serious because we knew his father had a real jazz background, mm -hmm. and he would, uh, <laughs> what do he call us, pedestrian vocals? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pedestrian vocals. Yes. Right. Yeah. Like anybody wow. on the street, you know, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm like>, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he kept us on our toes, you know. And uh, he was the first one that. Uh, that taught, that showed me or told me about what real jazz was. Mm -hmm. Cause he was playing it, right? Mm -hmm. And I, my, my experience of jazz at that point was what I heard my father play with big band stuff. Yeah, you know, he loved, he loved Count Basie and mm -hmm. Duke and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I heard that kind, of, that kind of jazz first. And then uh, when his father mentioned that to me, I, that's when I said, wait a minute. 
There's a whole nother category. Right. <laughs> There's some other stuff out There's here. Some other stuff. <laughs> and my father still he had a couple of uh, a couple of uh, jazz records, you know, that were a little bit more advanced. Mm -hmm. And I was like, holy, what is this? <laughs> mm -hmm. wow. And then Gilga reinforced that to me, you know, jazz is more like Miles, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and John Coltrane those and and that's kind of, that blew my mind. So that was cool. Yeah. So that 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 raised yeah. it up. Orville brought a certain to me a certain sound. Yeah, to the to the band. And yeah. then, then when he would get out and do think, get on his back and start doing, <laughs> start doing <laughs> all that. <laughs> man, that would trip me out, man. Because yeah. he's so, you know, unassuming. Yeah. And then when he go into his thing, man. <laughs> I mean, he go, he go for he go for the journey. And he had a bit of a little metal kind of rock element that well, did yeah, with that's another dimension. Yeah. We man. were rock and roll. We right. played. Grand Front Railroad, right. Jimi Hendrix, Ooh, I got you. Uh, Pink Floyd. Mm. Yeah. We, we listened to all those bands. I Miles mean, on the Corner. Yeah, right. the <laughs> black band musicians playing white music. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay, Three right, Dog right. Night. Right, right, you know, right, right. Elton right. John, yes. uh, what was the, 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 the blind guys? Uh, Edgar Winter. Oh, Winter. Yeah. Oh, I, the Frankenstein. The, thing. Yeah, the, 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 Todd, the, yeah, Todd Rogren. We, that's the, that's what we was listening up, yeah, to, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. along with Miles and Coltrane. Yeah, and like I would go to what was the Coalfield House or whatever it was at Maryland University to mm -hmm. see those bands. Yeah, I mean, we right. love I loved rock and roll. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know, yeah. I still yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. When I was playing with uh, back even before I met these guys, I was playing with Warren Shad, mm -hmm. and and, yeah. uh, and he had a band that was called. The first was called Smoke. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> and, and then it was called Pluto. And we were doing Pluto. We were I yeah. mean, we were doing like combinations of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, right, Blood, right. Sweat and Tears, Chicago, mm -hmm. Deep Deep Purple, Black yeah. Sabbath. Yeah. Ooh, you know? so, Let me ask you, yep. Shad told me he played drums. Is is that, yeah. is that yeah. true? That is absolutely true. <laughs> 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 I thought he just made pianos, man. <laughs> he was Shirley's drummer, from what he told me. I think yeah, he, he was. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah he's the, he the played with everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. I was, he, I was, he brought Shirley down to my studio and my dad's in a house on Taylor Street. Oh, yeah. wow. I recorded, recorded some stuff down there with her, <laughs> him, and uh, who was a bass player? Uh, Abel, Charles Abel. Abel. Must have been Abel. Yeah. Charles Abel. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we had a, a trio. We played at a place uh, like a little club on 16th Street. I can't remember the name of the band or the place, but it was me, a guy named I think it was Tony Centron on drums, mm -hmm. and Warren Shad on Hammond B3. Mm -hmm. Wow! Right. right. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. That's crazy. Was, that was one of the, he's one of them guys. He's yeah. One of them guys. Before before he started with the piano, he ran a he had a he published a magazine. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I, well, you know, when I was playing with Keith, that's when I. Late eighties, early nineties. Mm -hmm. That's when I met Sh Shad. He used to always had these three piece suits on. He used to come around, you know, and, you know. And I'm like, he would sit in. Yeah. So I didn't really take him serious. I said, oh, he just. A, but <laughs> right. he was on the business tip, yes, man. Sir. <laughs> you yes, know, sir. Well, genius. Yeah. His, his mother, my mother, rather, and his father mm -hmm. worked in NIH together. Um, mm -hmm. That's how I met him. Mm. Right. We 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 we've been friends since we were like ten years old. Wow! Mm -hmm. Wow! That's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's talk about uh, the fiftieth year world tour launch. Okay. Woo! Now we got four members here. Who are some of the other members? So uh, Perk Jacobs, who is, who is, he's percussionist. Percussionist. Yeah. Not Ron, now. Not now. Not now. Throughout the, I'm, throughout I'm, the just, life I'm, of the I'm gonna give you everybody that's been through, been responsible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perk Jacobs. Alan Barnes is no longer with us. Yeah. Barney Perry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Barnett Williams, mm -hmm. a percussionist. He played yeah, on right. Cornbread Earl and Me. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve Johnson. Right. Jay Jones. Sachs. No, Jay Jones is no, Kamal. Jones. He's a producer out in right. LA right now. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. Um, he played all the horns. He played, yeah. And flute. And, and flute and everything. And. Um, let me, see, let me see who else. Well, Ray Armando, mm -hmm. David Williams, Henry Franklin, Fonce Mizell, Larry Mizell. Mm -hmm. uh, Ernie, Ernie Watts. Ernie yeah. Watts, Ray Parker, wow. Kevin Wouldn't Tony. Bashir, Oscar Bashir, wasn't he? Oscar Bashir yeah, was Bashir. the trumper. Yeah. He, what, ha what happened? Bert was on Blue, um, United Arts Blue Note, whatever. Right. 
and he couldn't be on Fantasy, which was Prestige, which was Orn Keep News, and that whole piece. So he hired Oscar Bashir. So those solos, basically on our first record with the Van Gogh right. pros in the field, uh, is Oscar Bashir. Mm -hmm. um, and we've had infusion. Gary Gary Hart mm -hmm. played with us. Wow. Antonio right. Parker mm -hmm. played with us. Gary uh, Bartz. Janelle Gill. <laughs> Janelle Gill. <laughs> Gary Bartz. Yeah. Uh, we've just had a infusion of, of right. musicians. Elijah Balbet. Elijah oh, yeah. Balbet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Paul Spires. Right. Just right. Paul. Raymond Angry. Raymond, Raymond Angry. Angry. <laughs> Sam Smith. Oh, now, yeah. The thing that, 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 yeah, that, that people don't understand about this brother, his father was with was the, one of the drifters. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's yeah, from Tacoma, that. Washington. Gotcha. Right. And I met him. Um, they had a club in, in, in D.C. on Pennsylvania Avenue called Singer's Lounge. Hmm. So, and Dave Robbins. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Dave. Uh, and I, I just went, you know, I, was, I, don't know, I was hanging out with him. I went down and I heard this cat singing like Beatles songs with no piano. Yeah. And the pitch was like, what? Yeah. 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 Lloyd Williams. Lloyd um, Williams. The sister just paid, uh, uh, Julia Nixon. Uh, Julia Nixon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julia yeah, Nixon. Um, yeah. Um, see, you start naming. Yeah. You start naming people. <laughs> yeah. But see, all these people are responsible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In some capacity, Rob Folson. Mm -hmm. right, yeah. Sound. That's right. Roy oh, yeah. Battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, right. You know, right. Charlie Fenwick. <laughs> you know. Right. 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 You know. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it takes a village. But yeah. Let me say, he named like a. 11,000 people, and every band sounded like the Blackbirds. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because that's right. of the, those three guys. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. The core. Yeah. The core. Yeah. These two yeah. and, yeah. and Orville. No, no doubt. Always yeah. sound like the same. <laughs> Charles. Right. right. Yeah. Hmm. Roberto. Right. Playing. Um, you know, I mean, we. Sean Anthony. Sean. Right. And mm. Anthony. Who's going to be on this, this current? Uh, well, all these guys. Yeah. Uh, Roberto. Roberto. Uh -huh. Vieda. Yes. Vieda. Vieda. Uh, Sean Anthony. Uh, Me and Sean Anthony, the funny thing, man, our kids were best friends wow. coming up. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Harold Barney. Harold Barney. From Barney. Chicago. Yeah. Yep. And, and the, the crazy thing about Sean Anthony, <coughs> that Roscoe Sadaway, who is the drummer at my church, uh, they yeah. work together. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, yeah. so the kids. Oh, percussion. Yeah, what's yeah. the uh, Willie Anderson? Willie, Willie Anderson. Anderson, Big Willie, Big Willie, Willie. Uh, j just so many, many people uh, have contributed to the mix. And the cool part about it is that you really ain't got to do much but listen. Yeah, listen to the music. Right. You know <clears throat> what you got to play. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, it was all kind of set up. Well, it ain't that easy. But. Well, yeah, that's what. <laughs> um, but we haven't. I, I I did an interview with Jake Feinberg, um, and Val Christian Gary, who was one, our pro, pro, engineer, engineer producer, uh, yeah. during the, the okay. city life and yeah. unfinished business, said on this interview, "Well, Bird brought these guys up here, and nobody could sing. No, we could sing. You wouldn't let us sing. Right, right. right. Jim Gilstrap, Sheila Escovedo, mm -hmm. Mark Cohen." Right. There's a lot of people played in this band. So let me ask y'all this. Because did y'all take vocal lessons or y'all just say? At pedestrian vocal. <laughs> <laughs> but you mentioned something in college, you know, the voice teacher, what did they would have y'all do? With well, holding well, the and well, Weldon Norris and <laughs> Howard yeah. University yeah. would, I took vocal lessons. And he would make, and I went, and I never forget, I sang The Shadow of Your Smile. And he said, Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and you see, what, what is that? <laughs> he said, oh, see that brown chair over there? Hold that in that hand and go, ah. And the chair becomes what? Heavier yeah, yeah. and heavier. <laughs> wow. Which means you push your note out more and more and more. Right. And he taught me how to, to breathe from my diaphragm right. to push the notes out. Right. I never was a singer. I mean, I, cornbread earl and me. I need you to do it fluid. Well, they, you know, they ain't singing. They sank it. But but it's the it's the emotion. Yeah. 
Like any song that you like, you, you're drawn to it by the emotion, yeah. the mood, what it sets but for you. You still have to carry the tune. I mean, yeah. he's a good singer. You know, you still have to carry the tune, yeah, no matter how carry. pedestrian it might yeah. be. You yeah. know. Well, Gil Scott, I worked with Gil Scott <laughs> yeah. for, for years. And, and, you know, he wasn't necessarily a singer, right. but man, he carried the message. Yeah, right. storytelling. Yeah. You know, so yeah. that, that was you the sincerity. It's like when you guys sing. Yeah. You don't hear, you know, Jeffrey Osborne, but you hear people who are really trying to sincerely communicate something that they actually passionate about. And believe right? in. Right? Yes. And you believe it. No doubt. Yes. Yes. You, know, you think, real, real quick, you think about all the. Uh, all the bands that came around that that combine horns and vocals and dance rhythms, all these, you know, all the all the bands that, that mm -hmm. we all know, mm -hmm. you can't name any of them that you could look at an album cover and know everybody in the band's name. Mm. In the Blackbird, yeah. everybody <laughs> had a personality, everybody had yeah, a, yeah. contributed, and yeah. everybody was well known. Right, wow. right. We're right, just like true. the band leader and, and the other cats sitting around in the green right, room, right. all these guys at the right, right. Yeah. Oh, tell me something about Kevin Tony. Kevin, KT, <laughs> that's my man. You know, uh, I did a, uh, I got to play with him. We did a tribute to uh, uh, Andrew White. Yes, mm -hmm. and man, I always like, I always admired his confidence and mm -hmm. you know he's his assuredness and he know you know, but uh, you know he's a wonderful cat man. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, this guy is is, is a learned musician. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I couldn't pass my theory classes, you know, <laughs> I said, Kevin, what is this? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You know, yeah. and Kevin's like, he he actually tested out of his school, out of his... Oh, you know, really? Out of his class? Yeah, out of his class. Two years before he was supposed yeah. to graduate. Right. Yeah. And so... Um, and, and Jerry Allen was there, and, and Shelton Beckton, and uh, I went to school with some really in, impressive people. Angela right. Winbush, yeah, we were all in school yeah, together. Wow. Yeah. And Jolly. What was the name no, of that group, the three of them? No, 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 yeah. uh, Winbush. T, uh, something T. Something T. I mean, it was three three young ladies, man. Look, Ange <laughs> Kevin, Angela, and Shelton Beckton were in my, we were in, we wow. were in Miss... Miss White's. Yeah. Miss White's there. That's Kilgo uh -huh. to the board. To the board. <laughs> she goes to the pen and goes, uh, um, <laughs> okay. What's that animal? What is that animal? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know. There was another girl named Linda Hunt. I'd look over and say, Yeah, Linda. Linda. <laughs> Major Seven. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she was one of, she was one of those chicks. She just had. So much talent. Oh, God, mm -hmm. she was more talented than she all of us. She perfect pitch. She could play anything on piano. Wow. Read anything you threw in front of her. Right. Right. And she hated music. She was nuts. Really? She was. She hated music. Wow. But she got me through the theory class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she was nice. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so. Burden of excess. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too much, man. Yeah, right. Much. And so, you know, Korth, uh, which was Vera Katz, his mm -hmm. husband, and Flag, mm -hmm. and Rapid Stone, and Irby, yeah. and, you know, I mean, we, we were blessed to have this, uh, William Penn, all these geniuses. Mm -hmm. They were, yeah. these cats were geniuses right, yeah. around us, yeah. musically. Mm -hmm. we, we weren't geniuses. Right. We were like trying to pass the <laughs> you know, they, they were geniuses. And uh, like Angela, Angela Wimbush, I never forget. Um, uh, uh, there was no other, other woman. Um, she's a, the older lady. It was white and another one. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I so. I can see her, but I can't think Yeah. Of so I had to play like lift every voice and sing and America the Beautiful on the piano to pass this class. She said, kill okay, well, this. So I went to Kevin. Kevin said, look, man, just calm down. <laughs> okay. And so uh, he he really helped me musically. Is he from D.C.? He's from Detroit. Detroit. He's from Detroit. Yeah. Detroit. Yeah. No, no, no. What's the school nope. up there? That makes, uh, he went to Cass Tech. Cass, Bird, Greg, Philly Games. It makes sense there. Alan Barnes from Detroit. Alan Detroit. Barnes, yeah. yeah. And by the way, Edward Barnes, uh, Alan's son, is going to be coming to our show. Oh, yes. That, you know, uh, the, the July Howard, the Howard Theater. 7th at the yeah. Howard Theater. Yeah. 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 July so, so that's the launch. July that's 7th. the launch. Correct. And, okay. and, and, and what it is, it's, it's a homecoming in that, well, no, I won't tell. But anyway, we played at the Howard Theater when it was unlaunched. 
Okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> we did a go-go gig there with, with Reds and the boys and the EU and, mm -hmm. and the lights stuff was hanging from the ceilings or whatever. But mm -hmm. wasn't an official black gotcha. country. Um, this will be the official. That's why we're going to give you this T-shirt, Mr. Paul. Oh, man. I did a T-shirt? You get a T-shirt. <laughs> Yeah, look at that same color as this shirt he got out there. Man, it's perfect. Not, 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 what? Not he quite as much as the whole world. Oh, y'all yeah. see? Bam! Oh! Bam! Like bam! That. That's the hell! How yeah. y'all like it? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. <laughs> Man, yes, the way it is. Yeah. Right. Thank so, you. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Donald Byrne the third was uh, is going to be our MC. All right. Oh, nice. Really? Yeah. Wow. Tucson. Yeah. Tucson. Yeah. And Tucson Tucson is just... Sweetest cat. He's the sweetest cat you ever, yeah, ever, ever want to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he's his daddy's baby, right. you know, and uh, he looked just like him. And, <laughs> and um, this is going to be an event that we really want everybody. I mean, we, we go on to other places after this, but this is really how we want to look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is how we want to sound. Because yeah. it started in D.C. Blackbird started in D.C. In right? D.C., man. You know, right in D.C., starting mm -hmm. from us. From then, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's the roots are here, yeah, right, sure. you know, yeah. Yeah. and and that we all went to Howard University, you know, and that, but that video, I would, my waistline must have been that big. <laughs> <laughs> my voice was so high. I'm like, oh my God, who is this guy? Man? Man. Voices were a little higher. Yeah, well, you know, right, right. man, but it's, it captures the spirit of the, of the times. I'm trying to tell you, right, man. Right, 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 you know, right. you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, now, when you do these, uh, this tour, how do you select? I know you got to do certain songs. You got to do yeah. people, you know, walk in the rhythm, mm -hmm. Rock Creek Party. How do you select uh, your like repertoire? What do you think about? Well, what we've been doing, we've been rehearsing. We want to know that too. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be nice to know. <laughs> they don't know that. But yeah. that's why we've been rehearsing right. every month. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and and because of that, that's said, man. No, we, we got to play. Mm -hmm. You know, like once a month, something we got to get together. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I, I, <laughs> I pull a list of songs out, and Marshall's <laughs> like, "Well, damn, what is, what is this?" <laughs> no, but cool, because there is so much music. How do we do it? To your question, we have enough material that we can select a variety of different things. There's some things we've never played live. Wow. Flying high, we ain't never played live. Mm -hmm. right. uh, and then the, Myzels wrote so much music. Right. Uh, tons of that stuff we never played live. Mm -hmm. So I figure like this, mm -hmm. first part of the set, would we'll dedicate to Donald Byrd. So the stuff that Donald Byrd did, right. we would play. We got to play Soft and Easy. Mm -hmm. You know, We did um, uh, the Better Days record with George Duke. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Do You Want to Dance? Dan, I mean, there's so so we're just Dance gonna Dan, yeah. we're just yeah. gonna, Mitch, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah. But in front of that, we do what we wanna do. Okay. You know, and that's why we've been rehearsing so that everybody will know all this. I just call it and say, okay, we're gonna do, you know, da 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 da. Right. You know. Right. Uh, yeah. Have you ever um, put something new in in the set, or you kind of do stuff from the repertoire? Well, you know, I'm always writing stuff. So, um, no, we haven't. We, mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, the record that we have played the least of mm -hmm. is the, the Gotta Fly, right? right you know, the yeah. album, which all of those guys on. You on like, that? I like what we did in London. I don't think you know. we published it, but that that live thing we did in London um, to vinyl, straight to vinyl. Remember, we had that studio. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah we, went so straight we, to vinyl. Went straight yeah. to vinyl. Yeah, yeah. we, we, we recorded them. Soon. Right as we were recording. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I've yeah. had my babies at school, you know, hey, yeah. <laughs> the Blackbirds, you know, <laughs> you, know right. you know, so, yeah, we're going to be infusing new music um, as as we do this thing. We're, we're right now in the process of trying to do an official 50th television show. You know, so it's kind of been. I remember when Donald Bird, we were rehearsing with Donald Bird, mm -hmm. and I think he was trying to do something with a DJ or something. Yeah, uh, oh, Sean, 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 yeah. Sean. That, yeah. no, it was, uh, but, but his boy was a uh, uh, guru. Right. Gotcha. Guru was a guy. Yeah. Sean. Hmm? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Sean, what was Sean's name? Sean. I don't know. No. Wait, yeah, we, I, I got a picture of him. 
Uh, yeah, he was trying to infuse this acid jazz thing. You know, Bernie was always trying to find the next <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. You know, and I was telling uh, uh, um, somebody that um, on Miles Davis's record, he sampled Street Lady, which we've never played. Yeah. Wow. Okay? Mm -hmm. So those kind of tunes. So it, it's, um, you know, it, it, we have a lot to choose from musically. Uh, it's just how we feel. Is this, yeah. we feeling this song, you know, there's a lot of weight on these guys, because mm -hmm. we don't, if they struggle, we don't care, you know, <laughs> and it's okay, we love them, and, you know. Can I give y'all, can I, can I give y'all some advice? <laughs> <laughs> Write it out. <laughs> Listen, we, we talk about you. That's, that's part of the folklore, you know, you know. I remember the, the first time I came to rehearsal, I had like gone on my, you know, my, my and I'd written out a bunch of like horn lines, you know, and I and I and I came and I put the music on the on the stand in front of me and Thad, and Thad was like, <laughs> they said, just like an Antonio Bar. <laughs> Make it easy on yourself. Right, right. uh, <laughs> but moving forward, we are really excited about going kind of acoustic, uh, you know, uh, I'm having a, a friend unplugged of mine, unplugged thing. type thing, um, where we have strings, because oh, wow. there's a lot of strings, um, uh, Wade Marcus, yeah, he, you know, he wrote for Motown, and, yeah. and, and they, people don't know that we're connected to the Jacksons, because we're connected to Jessica's Fonts Mazel wrote for the Jackson Five, wow. and that was Larry's brother, and he, you know, he sang Hot Day Today, and he, he you know, so we, we have a kind of pipeline, but I really like this unplugged thing mm -hmm. with an orchestra, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, Wade wrote, I mean, it was a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. you know, so we just have kind of, we, we threw it, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, to, to give another side mm -hmm. of this music, it's not just jazz. Yeah. This is not just jazz. No, how would you describe, like, Blackbird, with style, I mean stylistically, who would you say? It's 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 so omni yeah. omniversal, man. It's kind of hard yeah. to, to pin it. Put, I, yeah, I usually true, look, yeah. I usually let other people try to define it, but yeah. it's it's too hard to uh, pin it down. I think, and I don't like to be pit. We don't like to be pit and hold anyway. Yeah, but uh, you know, we play jazz to funk grooves. Yeah, you know, everybody gets to play their jazz solos when they when they get there. Everybody gets to stretch out. So it's uh you know it's a little bit of everything. I never forget uh, we were in the studio with Stan uh, Sonny Stitt at the, the Rudy Van Gelders, and <laughs> Kevin played a funk chord. You know it was just like a, you know just a sus. <laughs> you know. And Sonny Stitt said, "No, <laughs> uh, no, no." <laughs> Take that note on. <laughs> sure. <Take> that note <laughs> out. You got to revoice it. It's crazy. You got to revoice it. I can't. I ain't got nowhere to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Right. Right. Man, and right. we could have taped that yeah. session. It was. I mean, because Orville was over there. Joe was over here. <laughs> I was back here. Everybody was in a separate sound booth. Yeah. Wow. That was good. That was Van Gogh's yeah. thing. You know. But 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 they. they Having those experiences, meeting Philly Joe Jones, meeting uh, Hank Mobley on my long short story, mm -hmm. and I had a glass of cognac, and I was walking down this thing in Philly at the uh, Hippodrome, mm -hmm. and walking down his brother's and said, hey, man, boy, that really looks good. Can I have a <laughs> sip? <laughs> you know, Philly Joe came in. I didn't know Elmo Jones is his twin brother, and Philly was one of my idols. You know, mm -hmm. uh, right, right. always will be. And so we went back up on the stand. He got behind the drums. So I go back to you know, like, okay, dude. Yeah, and he says, Bruh. <laughs> I, I, I found a tambourine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Bird had all these jazz cats, man. That you know, because he was a bad. Yeah, you know? right, right, right. And, and so all these cats were his friends, but they were aging and whatever yeah, was going yeah, on in their lives, yeah, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So we got a chance to meet a lot of these guys. Wow. You know, the brother, the, 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 the guy that used to write for, um, in Memphis, 
the road for Al Green, mm -hmm. and you know, we met all these these wonderful you know right. musicians. You know, through and it had to have influenced your writing and your playing, probably. I would imagine it had to impact all of that for y'all. Well, we were competitors. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. nobody liked anybody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the songs, some yeah. of these hits. Mm -hmm. um, how did these? Did, were y'all competing with who? I want to get my song in. Or? Absolutely. Well, there's, always, there's always some of that. <laughs> really? Well, but the first record, they didn't think the drummer could write nothing. So Yeah, yeah they, were, they were of that mind. You got musicians and a drummer. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh -huh. What? <laughs> you know. All right. Uh, but if you listen to the music, damn, we wrote damn near the same stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? All right. Uh, but everybody had their own slant on it. Mm -hmm. and, and once we got to the point, because mm -hmm. Bird would always put me in charge of calling the set list and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Um, once we got to the point where we would just meet and say, okay, this song, this song, this song, this song, that's what it was. That was it, yeah. So did these songs evolve, or did somebody say, oh, I got a song, I want to try? How, how did, how did, did somebody, did you, were y'all just bringing songs in? We would, look, when we <laughs> lived, when he lived in the, uh, uh, in the house up in L.A., right? Right. We'd go up to the house with, with Carol, and uh, we'd go up to the house, and you'd go to your room, and we'd sit there for days, man, just write music. Wow. Okay? And then, okay, what's when? Okay, I'll, I'll, well, no, not this one, maybe this one. And we come back to the rehearsal and say, okay, here it is. Da, 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 da. Because right. I was trying to write a hit better than walking in rhythm. Yeah. Right. Are you know what I, mean? I, was, I was going for it, man. Right, right, right. I was going for it, you know what I mean? Right, right. And, and so it, it just, it just, it was so much fun because, you know, at a, after a certain point, it didn't matter. You brought the tune, we playing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't just because you wrote a song. It's you, 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 you make the song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it, 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 I conceptualize it this way, but when you hear it or when you play it, you change that concept. You you grow it. You yeah, know what right, I'm saying? Right, so yeah. so that, yeah. that was how yeah. we... Mm -hmm. So I want to... I got a few songs that I want. Who 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 is credited for writing Rock Creek Park? <laughs> Rock Creek Park. Uh, but, but which one was... Oh, that was that was something we did at a sound check. Really? Chicken it, Bone Alley, bruh. It just came out of... A, it came out of a, a, a rehearsal at a sound check. In Camden... New Jersey. Yeah. Really? Yeah. We were opening for the Commodores. Right. And Bird would always make us come like five hours earlier than anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we all banana heads. We'd get there. And the people, just, they ain't even cleaned up the room yet. <laughs> chicken bones from last night. Beer bottles. <laughs> oh, chicken bone now. Yeah, yeah, that's why I call it chicken bone. <laughs> and so he was playing drums. I was playing uh, bass. Mm -hmm. I was playing bass. Wow. Kevin, and we used to have these the Morant Super Scopes. We, he, yeah. we always had, to, we recorded everything we did. Right. So right. we'd go in and we just was like just goofing around. Mm -hmm. You know, right. he was playing drums because right. he plays drums really good. Right. And, oh, I, you know, really. well, not, no better than I play bass. <laughs> <laughs> and so he just started to groove. Right. And right. so, Bird came in, you know, and they, they flew in, you know, we drove. Right. You know, <laughs> uh, and so they said, okay, oh man, I like that group. Right. So we went, came home, I sang the hook. Rock Creek Park, I sang the hook in the studio. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay? I sang Doing It in the Park, Doing It in the Park. Uh, Happy Music, he and I recorded at home, and he went out to LA. With it, you know, right, right. and that's how those things. Yeah, really, that's how those things. So, that's, so happy music. What, say what? They what didn't about, give us no credit for it. What about walking in rhythm? That was strictly Barney. Bar Barney. Barney wrote the whole song. I have the actually. Hi Barney. I have the original score yeah. <laughs> to it, but right. he wrote the song. Yeah. Only thing we did was try to, net, you know, nettle it down to its essentials. Yeah. Right. Just cut out some stuff, a couple of bars here and okay. there, but mostly he wrote the whole thing. I got two more. Do it fluid. These are some of my favorites. <laughs> That's Donna Bird's song. That's Bird. Okay. Yeah. How'd you get the vocal? You're the perfect <laughs> vocal for that song, man. <laughs> how'd you get? How'd you get to uh, do the vocals on that? Nobody else would do it. <laughs> 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 
could let Bird do oh, it. Oh, yeah. let Bird do it. Uh, yeah, I, it was a sacrificial ad. Yeah. Wow. For, but, uh, you know, he always had a thesaurus, and I mean, it, the words were like, oh, my God. You know, nobody would sing these words today, you know? Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Wow. Right, right. <laughs> and soft and easy. Uh, soft straight and Oval easy. Saunders. Yeah, right, Oval right. Saunders, too. Yeah. And the thing... I, that pissed me off. I'm gonna be straight. With he put Ollie Brown and the secretary f that worked in the studio to do the. Uh, uh, but Orwell had written a melody. He had the whole thing the already song, done for the song. Right, right, yeah. Right, right, okay, right, 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 right. so you don't, you've never really heard the, the whole song. The real tune. The real song. Wow. Yeah, and and That's he put a project the, right there, y'all. Yeah, you know, he, you know sure. we we know what it is. We we yeah. We, yeah. we we yeah. but they didn't do that. And you know, no offense to anybody, but you know, and I love Kevin Tony, but they, they would have him play like all over the whole every, track, the whole the whole track, you know, front to back. And in school, he's a great piano player, mm -hmm. but come on, y'all, mm -hmm. or have Wade Marcus put French horns on a funk tune. Right, right. Ooh, <laughs> no, no. Huh? So, so did y'all do a lot of arguing? And, well, at, at a certain point. <laughs> yes. Hold on. At a certain point. Right. I was like, man, come on, yo, what are we doing? Right. And we still have about 10 tunes in the vault. Wow. Like they're in San Rafael in, in California. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the royalty thing ain't still what it's supposed to be. I'm mm -hmm. going straight with it. That's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, we're trying to fix that in some kind of way. Concord Records bought Fantasy and all that. You know, Ralph Caffold and uh, 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 Sal Zance and all those people. And Sal Zance, by the way, married Charlie Mingus's daughter. That's how they started Fantasy Records, gotcha. just mm -hmm. for your history. Um, but man, this <laughs> business, again, music business. business. Yeah. Now y'all were young. At the time, oh, right? yeah, so y'all, y'all, y'all was doing it for the love. For the, <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 the crazy part is that we never, we had almost had to buy our own records to him. Cause they sent us on. All right, see wow. ya. <laughs> wow. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. What was it like working with uh, Donald Burke? I mean, I mean. It was that I'm gonna let you tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the time he was a teacher. Uh -huh. uh, he was very demanding. And uh, you remember one of the first things he was shouted at one time. So your mother told you you could play. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right. He used to shout that at everybody. But you know what's crazy, man? I don't know if you can be like that with young cats now. It's like, no, you you, it's like they very sensitive. I mean, they... It takes, and, you know. Fans game. Yeah, it's like. Really? You just yeah. don't hire them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I still scream at them. We gonna fight them. We yeah, gonna fight them. Yeah. Right. We gonna fight them. <laughs> it's, right. it's, it's like, man, right. you know. Yeah. I mean, that's, nobody, whatever Donald Burke was doing, it it, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> in a different time, you yeah. know. Like, yeah. I, I felt that yeah. as a young yeah. cat in the 80s. Early '80s in in New York, and you know when I hanging around there, it was like, nah, man, you can't mess around with these cats. They will kill you. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. Right. Back then, you know? they could talk to you any way they wanted. Yeah, to. Yeah. yeah. And he, yeah. and you weren't expected to take it personally. Yeah. You know? no, well, if no. you did, you've got to be ready they, to they, fight. Yeah. For, you know. Yeah, but I mean, I, the, the, I worked with with McGriff for a long time, and McGriff would sometimes he would, you know, he he let you have it. Wow. You know? Yeah. Wow. We used to have band meetings. Because yeah. they didn't want us to, because the, the, the ladies was waiting for us out in the thing. Right. So I heard say, Band meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. <laughs> and so he said, I, I'm, I'm not going to blame it. It's your parents' fault. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's nice. Right. 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 I wish right. my experience had yeah. been like that. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. You know, mayhem threatened in my band. Uh, and so we'd go through the Art Blakey stories and, yeah. and the uh, Bob the Jackie yeah. McLean, and, yeah. you know, and, and they was doing drugs or whatever. They tried to get him to do them, he wouldn't. And they said, well, man, what we gonna do today? So, okay, let's roll over. 
<laughs> you know, oh. but it, 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 we had respect. Okay? Yeah. yeah. We had respect. Yeah. Uh, and we were loyal soldiers. This guy and I drove the truck. How many miles did we drive oh, them God. trucks? We would drive the truck. I never forget we drove to, it was Atlanta or whatever. I mean, we were tired as a no, in from Indianapolis to Atlanta, whatever. It was mm -hmm. crazy. You know, and you know, you see the sign coming up and then you don't remember going under it. Yeah. <laughs> it was there. Right. When the guys crashed the truck, we had some roadies, they crashed the truck. He and I had to go back, wait for Ryder to bring another <laughs> truck. They had, they fell asleep or something. They had the hair all up in the thing. <laughs> the, blood the, all the blood all the <laughs> and the damn truck was, was full of water. And we, this guy and I, wow. took all this equipment out Put it in another Neutral. truck and drove to the gig, and then whoosh, hotel. Whoosh, and he would do this, because by time, you know, I had to ask Billy Hart. I said, "Man, I mean, I don't understand. My time is messed up. What's going on?" He said, "Man, the time come from the floor. That's where you, that's where the time come from." Right, 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 right. So Brent would stand in front of it on the drums. So I said, oh man, I mean, I gotta get, I gotta get going here. Hey, what's the story about the who? Who? <laughs> the who? Yeah. Hey, hey. There was another. There was another amazing trip. Oh yeah. Lord, we drove from D.C. to California. He had a he had a jeep. Right. Now, now, why were y'all going well, like a Wrangler or something? Yeah. No, it was a, it was a, it was CJ a, uh, five. Yeah, it was CJ five, but it was a, 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 a golden eagle. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. So it had a big old V eight engine and mm. this real tall road heavy. <laughs> yeah, canvas top. And I was in the nine fourteen. So who's always going? Who, 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 so it was four of us, right? Kevin, Joe, Orville, and me. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we drive all the way to California. Our, our mission was to, to find find out what was going on with the royalties. Uh huh. So we go up, we drive all the way out there. We get to we get to California. We go up to did we go up to his house the first day? No, I we, think we chilled because yeah. you know, we were like <laughs> Yeah, we were, yeah. We were zonked out. So we went up to his house and uh he had this nice house up on the hills and Mulholland Mul Mul Drive. Mul oh wow, okay. <laughs> In the hills in LA, you know, you could look over the whole city and see all the fog and shit. Right. So we get to the gate, and uh, did Kevin push the button? Somebody push the button. I, don't I don't guess it was Kevin. No, you push it. No, I ain't gonna push it, you push it. <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin gets out the car, pushes the button, and, uh, and then somebody said, Hello? We said, and he said, It's the Blackbird. And the voice came back and said, Who? <laughs> oh, oh no, that's funny. Man. We knew that it was gonna be out oh, from there. Yeah. Oh man. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, he, he was on the run a little bit because we had gotten smarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The education didn't just come from the music; it came from the business. Mm -hmm. Right. Charlie Graziano, all you know, all the stuff. Blah, 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 yeah. Uh, and we were like, okay, so I'm looking at my royalty statement, and it says, uh, y'all made blah, 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 mm -hmm. and I made, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. and then when you looked at the statements, it had, it, what, what they would, was happening is they were deducting everything they did. Right. Every airplane, every studio, studio hour, hour, girlfriends, <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. was coming out of your stuff. Did you tell me your dad? What they? <laughs> so this is a crazy story. So I had to contract the last one because he last made us one. sign it on the plane. Right? On the plane. So to London I had to, or someplace. Yeah, LA, you know, yeah. I had the contract on the table, and my and I, I left it down. My dad came downstairs, and he started rifling through it. And like, oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> what, is this? what is this? And he is the reason. That this whole thing did that. Gotcha. Roger Zuckerman, his son, is probably in charge of the law firm now right, here right, in DC. Yeah. And they sent him a pretty persuasive 
letter. Letter. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and so we went to court. Again, here go me. I'm always doing the dumb stuff, right? Yeah. So I I had this really nice suit on and shit. And and I had but some Gucci's, you know, <laughs> and it was this much ice in New York. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sliding. Never went up. <laughs> I'm sliding down the joint. <laughs> My feet are, we playing every night in Philly. Yeah. Wow. So we taking the train from Philly to New York to go to court. Wow. Yeah. Take the train back just in time to hit the gig. Yeah. At the Bijou, you know? The Bijou. And uh, it, it just, it ended an uh, 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 era. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, uh, and this is for young musicians, this is for any musicians. Mm -hmm. Man, take care of the business part. Mm -hmm. I don't care if your picture's on the record, I don't care if you hear it on streaming live, whatever you do, go take care of your money. Right, because right. what happens, once it gets away from it, man, it's really hard to get it back. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you right, might yeah. you might get it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we got 50 years, and we still <laughs> so trying to get it. Yeah. Sly just got his money. What's yeah, I'm saying, he was living in a yeah. van. That's right. Yeah, you know, right. so it, it is imperative that and, and, and it, this, um, I'm sorry to d deviate, but this is about education, okay? Mm -hmm, yeah. I, I, if you don't teach these children what they're supposed to do as artists mm -hmm. about the business part of it, they're going to end up in the same boat. Mm -hmm. Paul McCartney, Michael Jackson, you can name them, all got, Elvis Presley, all got ripped off. Mm -hmm, yeah. Because that business part, man, is the longevity. I never forget meeting Clive Davis and how I met him. Is, no. Anyway, I had a friend who lived in Florida. Mm. Radio, Ray Parker's first record was called Radio, it was mm. red. Yeah. She was a promo lady for mm -hmm. him. She gave me a t-shirt and we were playing in this little club in New Orleans and this white guy came up and said, hey, how did you get that shirt? I'm like, I ain't gonna tell you what I said. But then, like, excuse me. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm Clive David. Oh, I'm Keith Gilgo. <laughs> uh, and it lets you know that there's another side of the business. If you look at all the artists that he has produced, Whitney Houston and yeah, Carlos Santana, yeah. he still got a job. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Them artists are gone. Right. So what does that say? That says that Irving Mills, who got all Duke Ellington's music, all that stuff, man, protect your music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Period. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's true. Yeah. The rapper's good at that. So... Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what um, put this, like that was the end of, like you said, end of an era. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what made you, what gave you the, the uh, idea to bring uh, the, the Blackbirds back together? Because we had uh, much more to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had much, but these are great musicians. Yeah. Play. Yeah. Mm. Play the music. Mm -hmm. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. That draws the line. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 That's right. Play the music, okay? Mm -hmm. And we sound, and my whole thing is, and I know they get tired of hearing me, but my thing is to make it as authentic mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Because that's the museum. Mm. Right. right. That's right. the history. Right. right. That's the griot. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. know? That's where the message yeah. goes on. And if I ever, if and, then, and when I die, if I ever hear a cover band of the black ones, I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back. But y'all know what I want to ask you. Um, do you remember the first time you heard the Blackbirds and you playing on the record? On the radio? Or on the radio. On the radio. Yeah, that was, that had to be. Uh, was that Rock Creek Park? Or what was your? I mean, how did that? it's a rock report? Were you like? Yeah, did, how, how'd you? How'd you uh, process that? It was. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was exciting, but it was like, wow, yeah. how is this happening? <laughs> and damn, we're gonna be rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, the Nighthawk <laughs> on W O L. Right. I went to. It was in Georgetown at the time. Hmm. And I went to the radio station. He wasn't there, and I left the album on his mm -hmm. at the door. Right. Right. By the time I got back into my duster and headed back to Southeast mm -hmm. Ward Eight, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were playing Rock Creek Bar. Wow, dig it, yeah. yeah. And the rest is history. 
<laughs> Pretty much. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. All right, we gotta. We almost to the end. Okay. Great, great interview. Um, at some point, you, you and Donald, y'all kind of came back to and it cooled things out, and uh, before he passed. And, yes. And, and, uh, and, I I played at the um, um, the Nam. It was in Atlanta. Mm. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mary Mac Portland, uh, Billy Higgins, fr- it was a bunch of yeah. jazz cats. <clears throat> he didn't know I was there. I was playing with Von Nark. Oh, gotcha. And uh, I saw him. Well, he walked past me. He, had, you know, because he had diabetes and stuff like that. So he he really thinned out. Mm-hmm. And I said, "Hey!" <laughs> 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 and from that point on. He, I, I did uh, Pori Finlan for him because he, he got really ill. Mm-hmm. And I did the Corcoran Art Gallery. Mm-hmm. I did a history of jazz. Right. Uh, and we, we actually was very cool because yeah. I wasn't mad. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If it wasn't for him, right. yeah. where would you be? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So you can't get me so mad. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. He, he still showed you the light. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was cool. And so Tucson, his son, and I, we have a, uh, it's called the Donald Bird Cultural Foundation. They named the street after him in, in New York where he and Herbert used to live. Um, and um, we are in the process of trying to correct a lot of this. Larry Mizell is, you know, God, he's still with us. Mm-hmm. And he's a wonderful guy, you know, you, you yeah. know and he's a great, he has stories that we don't have, mm-hmm. right? Because right. he was before us, right. Mm-hmm. Right. you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, that's how we pulled it together. I mean, I, it, it hate ain't about it. That right. ain't, ain't got nothing to do with it. Right. It's right. like love, right? 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 You know, yeah. uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he knew he played with Philly Joe and Art Blake. And she, the time was straight. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was straight. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Billy Higgins on cast. Mine was. <laughs> so he was like, oh. <laughs> you know. Right. So lessons learned. So I got one more question. If y'all got some questions. Mm. Uh, um, how has this the audience received over the years? Fifty years of music. It's a probably a rhetorical question, mm-hmm. but. Has it changed? Is it still like new? Is a new audience? Or is the so what has that been like? I know over in 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 uh in London, man. Well, that's I was thinking about that. Yeah, man. That's, man, let me I, tell you. I, oh yeah, I gotta tell you because when I was in the band, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, man. That, that flute thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tortured all of them, right? Man, man. So. What's the club we played at uh, in uh, in Edinburgh? No, in, in uh, London. The, oh, uh, uh, um, Jazz Cafe. Jazz yeah, Cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm up there. You know, you take that flute solo, and man, the energy is just palpable. And, you know, I'm trying to play that flute like I play my saxophone. I'm trying to get, and I mean, the sweat, the flute slide up there. <laughs> <laughs> I catch on the one note, and I just start doing rhythmic on that one note. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey man, I said, uh, mm. me and Benjamin, uh, Benji, 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 yeah, Benji, 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 <laughs> I, I think if if I can cleanly hit that first F, yeah, <laughs> yeah, if I can hit that, I'm good. Then anything else I can do what you did. Yeah. <laughs> and the last leg, yeah, uh, then, then you do anything uh, in, the, in the middle. Man, that John was up there. <laughs> <laughs> That would terrify me. And once I got, you know, my up, uh, got through that, man. That's the only thing. You know, it speaks to Barnes, man. I mean, just oh, yeah. incredible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we gotta get, let's give uh, Alan Barnes some love. Yeah. 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 Alan yeah. Yeah. Barnes. The late, great yeah. Alan Barnes. Yeah. That, those food solos, I'm Amazing. trying to tell you, that, yeah. and the thing was, is because Bird had played <laughs> with Coltrane, 
Barnes would be, and Bird would be looking at his fingers, and why is that finger shaking? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know. Right, breaking yeah, down all these stuff. Right. He was hard. He, he, he was hard. On the saxophone. Right. He, he right. was right. tough right. on the saxophone. Right. But Steve Johnson played one solo that Kevin wrote out. Right. Wesley, that's on the picture for the the, the fly, and I didn't bring a fly in uh, for the for the game. Oh, Wesley, yeah. Yeah, Wesley didn't play on nothing. Nothing. Gary Gordon yeah. didn't play on that. We had saxophone players. Right. Gary right. Hart didn't play on that. Wow. You know they were there because right. Bird was like, <laughs> yeah. wow, yeah. no mercy, no <laughs> mercy <laughs> on the saxophone. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, right. but Alan, man, Alan said, okay, watch this. <laughs> you know, and he when played. He, when he played that solo. You know, because we were worried, because uh-huh. Bird and him, Bird always had a thing for saxophone players. He yeah. hated them first. Yeah, first of all, and he made them do stuff that they couldn't do. Yeah, right. Right, right, right. So we were in the studio, <laughs> and we were sweating because we knew Alan had the solo coming up. <laughs> and when he when he played the first bar, I said, "Oh shit, this is re- this is going to work." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. When he got finished right. that solo, man, we were so happy. That's that, yeah. That yeah. made the entire tune. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's, it's but like, I remember him from you know, Blackbird. You know, when it, when you guys did Montreux, he was playing flute on that. Yes. Way yeah. back in the day, yeah. and he was handling that flute. Yeah. Then I don't know why y'all were worried. No, 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 no. not about him. It like wasn't that. the worry; it was the notes. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> right. wasn't the flute. And how he was going to really come back at Bird yeah. for that solo. For that solo, because Bird had had just made it. And he, you know, Alan practiced was was one of the greatest <laughs> things about his musicianship. Mm-hmm. Is that he practiced? Mm-hmm. This cat practiced, you know. Right. And man, he hit that thing. We were like. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect solo. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, man. perfect. It's not, yeah, it is. It's not full of notes. Yeah. No, nope. yeah, no. Nope. It just, it just, yeah, it's all it right. Just it captures the song. It says it's what like, it says. Yeah, it's captures. The song. <laughs> if he tried to write out a solo better than yeah. that, he would not have been able to do that. Right? Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. right. Right. You know. But I want to, I want to double back to what you were saying because you were talking about the, <coughs> the audiences and stuff. Uh-huh. And um, uh-huh. you know, we we tend to go to London quite a bit. You know, that's mm-hmm. one of the few big stops and you know when I first joined the band you know you know I was like okay we're over here in Europe let's see what's happening you know this should be fun I just you know I had toured Europe here and there doing some other mm-hmm. things and so I was like well Europe is cool everybody knows everybody but it was different than the jazz gigs everybody I did yeah it was different it was, it was yeah. different you know and so Everybody knows everybody. This is what I deal with on the road. With yeah. This oh, oh man. But but I just found it fascinating, man. I mean, some of friends that I've made now, but I remember we did Ronnie Scott's, that, mm-hmm. and you know, so Ronnie's was we had six nights. I think it was there that 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 time and. The hotel was right around the corner. So we could walk from the hotel, so it was beautiful, man, you know. And I would make a point, I have some espresso, whatever. Man, I'm coming from the hotel, I turn the corner, there's a line coming out of Ron Scott. True story, man. There's a line. And so I said, oh, okay, it's gonna be a good night tonight. And as I'm getting closer to the club, this dude starts coming at me with, his, with an album in his hand. Well, yeah. And he says, "Oh, you're Thad, Thad Wilson. You're the new trumpeter in the yeah. in the Blackbirds. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. I'm looking forward to hearing you play with the band." I'm like, "Well, damn, they know all of that." Yeah, I'm like, yeah, man. It was yeah, great. Yeah, it was yeah. wild, but they really yeah. love the Blackbirds. Yeah, man. It's a great audience. Great yeah. audience over there. I mean, Paris was kind of similar, but I remember London was really like, you know, yeah. really we, we played well, our first time too in in the UK was in 1976. Mm-hmm. We played at Odeon Hammersmith. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I never will ever forget this. The, the kid, he was probably 12. Because remember our dressing room was, you could open the window and see the alley. Mm. This kid came with a bag full of our records. Not only Blackbird yep. records, records yep. I played with. We did Bobby Humphreys and the other records I played with Joe Henderson. Uh, yeah. They had records, mm. a 12 year old. Wow. Yeah. But well, that was like Hamburg, you know, we were up in Hamburg, you everybody know? had them records. You yeah, know? And, and so the, the, the thing is, is that you just don't realize the impact mm-hmm. of your music yeah. till you get out of the United yeah. States right, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. to see how people appreciate it. And, and it's a good thing, it's a humbling thing, yeah, you absolutely. know. And I had hair and all that stuff, you know. So <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, some of them cats would 
I've been waiting 20 years. I had this album for 20, 30 years, and I finally get y'all to sign it. I'm like, yeah. wow, wow, you've been hanging on to that, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you guys got any closing uh, questions for the, for these cats? <laughs> <laughs> they know all the stuff. You no, know, I, I, I do want to, uh, well, there's, there's one, we can talk about this at, uh, some other time, but there's one interesting story that Keith told me about about the recording process when he was playing with the Blackbirds, because some of that music is very dense. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, strings, horn parts, yeah. overlapping oh, yeah. string parts, mm -hmm. five, six different guitar parts. Mm -hmm. And they weren't all in the, in the, in the room like Snarky Puppy together. So it's a pretty surgically accurate way they, they made, they crafted these songs, because they weren't all done at one time. So, that's, so we can talk about that some other time. Yeah. And I also want, wanted to say that, you know, um, it is kind of enlightening uh, to see crowds how they respond to you when you go to another country. Mm -hmm. as you know, because you've been in you know, yeah. and, and London, they like it's packed. Yeah, yeah. they having yeah. a good time. They singing, they singing the song. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they know the yeah. Real, they know the lyrics. They know the lyrics. What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, except for um, Rock Creek, but they don't know Rock Creek Park. When you hear them yeah. singing, it's like yeah. it, those aren't the words. <laughs> yeah. Doing it after, doing it what? <laughs> but, but that's the kind of crowd Pop I want to see. Right, right, right. That's the kind of crowd I want to see at the Howard Theater on July yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That'd be nice. Howard oh, yeah. Howard Theater. That's the crowd. G yep. July 7th. Yep. So this is the deal. Um, <laughs> the Howard Theater, for me personally, because I've been around probably longer than most of them. Uh, I, my father took me there to see Miles Davis and James Brown on the same show. Wow. Um, that Coltrane, Cannonball, Jimmy Carr, wow. Paul Chambers, okay? Yeah. James Brown had two drummers, you know. Wow. <laughs> that's how, it, the, the history in that building uh, is, is to be honored. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's, it's to be honored. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what I want for us to do is mm -hmm. to honor it. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. man, Every bad cat, the jewel box review, you name it, has come through the Howard Theater. Mm -hmm. And that it's, you know, and I'm sorry that George Duke passed, but he, but he was actually yeah. supposed to be the the music person for, for there. For the Howard. Yeah. And when yeah they, I, I, I played in this, the band when they opened it. Yeah. 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 You know, so uh, I, I just can't wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just can't wait. Oh yeah. What's the date again? July seventh. July seventh. Yes. Yeah. Twenty twenty three. I wanted to say one more thing. Um, you know, whenever I went out, the uh, the most fun I had was after the gig. Yeah. <laughs> the hang. The hang. Uh, right. the hang, man. Yeah. And right, right. Just, just like sitting this. Back, yeah, yeah, sitting back yeah. with friends, yeah. man. We go out to get something to eat. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> talk a lot of stuff. It was but man, it was always the hang. Yes. I, and mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. and back in the day. In those days, I was a little bit more crazy. <laughs> I'm a little bit more reserved. I I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more reserved right there. Right. <laughs> I've got no. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, well, we're, we're proud of you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great show, man. Great, great show. Great thank great show. you. Yeah. Great well, job. fellas, yeah. I want to thank you, man. This is like, I mean, how does this happen? <laughs> right, right. Hey, one, one more question I want to ask you. Okay. When, when your show first comes on, uh -huh. there's a really hip piece of music that I hear every time I watch one of your programs. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. Oh, something I wrote. I'm sure it is. Called Old Stories. Old Stories. Oh, is, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, is that, yeah, on, is that on the record? Yeah, yeah I got that on my uh, live at. Uh, at uh, HR? HR. Right. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. got that on. But that version is not the live version, is it? Yes. It's beautiful. Man. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah, you. Nice. Appreciate yeah, you. Man. Benito was on that, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. But we are proud of you, Antonio Parker. Mm -hmm. Oh man, thank. Well, you know, man, Keith, man, like he said, man, he's been my art blinky. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. Sir. And, yes uh, sir. Yes sir. And man, uh, kind of legit I, asshole. I mean, oh, sorry. And actually, man, <laughs> when I, you know, because I was a student at Howard, kind, kind of like how you experienced with Donald Byrd, yeah. man, and you the cat that took me out. Europe, Spain, right? Right. You know, right. man. Boy, I got a story about uh, Austria. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. What happened? No, you're going to take it. You can talk about no, it. And then, and then you can just cut it out. Later. No, 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 uh, Scott, that's, Austria or that's Scotland? a separate story. That's I knew it. You know, oh, that, that's a separate that's story. story. Yeah. Me and Benji know about Austria. Yeah, Austria. Yeah. Ah. yeah. I'm calling Benji right no, now. No, no, yeah. right. Benji. Yeah. Excuse me. No, but, what uh, happened in Austria? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> no. But man, I this like for me, a young cat mm -hmm. at how 
you know, that didn't know. I was just trying to be a jazz cat. This cat just. I think you saw me playing on the corner. Something. Was, which, it, I used to was, play on the Georgetown on you, the street corner. You know where the Benetton store used to be on the mm-hmm. corner right from Blue's yeah, Alley? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was coming. I went to get to. Uh, there was a gyro place down there. I wanted to get mm. a gyro. And I heard this cat playing. I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> so I came up to him and said, well, he said, you got some, because he had his case open. I said, shit, you want a gig? And you know, the, the funny thing, that was like like my first time, like cause when I was at house, I was in the dorm. Right. And so when I, now I was living in a house, so I had to pay rent. Right. And so I did some money. <laughs> so, so he came at the right time. Right time right. Right. <laughs> it was at the right time. Yeah. I started gigging at the Cobra, man. Yeah. I said, oh, I was able to pay my, you know, my rent. Right. Right. Oh, I'm happy, right? Yeah. Oh, my right. God, yeah, man. Right. Dude, we got right. a, yeah, right. a lot of fun, man. Yeah. So I'm always, right. this is my man. This is the, the connection. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I've always pretty much been the youngest cat, so they've been like big brothers. Right. So yeah. I could, when I, when we went out, I can go out and do crazy. I know they're going to have my back. Stop it. Oh, Lord. Right, right, right. I just had to get that shoe back. Yeah, right. 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 Just keep dropping the dread, bread. Yeah. Score it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, man. Yeah. Uh, so, congratulations on 50 years. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man, I know yeah. it's going to be great. Uh-huh. I'm going to come and check it out. And, uh, oh, you on. Yeah, and uh, VIP, baby. and I know y'all gonna do some touring, yes, I- international. Mm-hmm. So, yep. you so know, represent, we good. Represent us, yes. represent. You know, <laughs> and uh, you thank it. you, fellas, for 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 being on the conversation in jazz. Thank you, and uh, yeah, man. Until the next time. Thank yes, you, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> there it is. Give it up for the Blackbirds. <laughs> yes, the legendary Blackbirds. This is a conversation in jazz, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.